are we going to the ultimate playground? Yes, we are. <clears throat> you want to go up with me? I'll help you. <clears throat> so follow along as we go to this really cool playground. I will leave a link to it if you're around the Edinburgh area. I'm so excited. Let's go. Do you want me to go first and then pick it down? Okay, guys. We're going to go fit in that. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> go first. Oh, you can totally make this. Okay, ready? Hold my hand. Sit on your bum. I'll help you. I'll help you. I won't let you get a boo-boo. Good job. There. A little tucker today. Feeling timid. Whoa, Abraham. This is so cool down here. Should we crawl out that way? Look. Whoa, whoa. There's a tunnel right there. Where is it? Does it need to the light? Oh wow, okay. I don't know that this is mommy sized. <laughs> I think it's definitely not backpack sized. Oh, now I'm gonna get stuck. It's gonna happen. I finally will have gotten stuck at one of your playgrounds. Oh wow, okay. I don't think I can do that a second time. That may have been my max. Yeah. Okay, I have to go like this? Yeah, like that. Like this? Whoa. Whoa. That felt more dangerous than I was expected. Hold on to the rope. Give me your other hand. It's okay. Give me your other hand. Hold on to the rope with one hand. Give me your other hand. It's okay. Give me your hand. Okay, now pull yourself up with the rope. Good job. Oh no, I have to fit through there too. I finally made a baby cage like I've been suggesting. And it's a geodesic dome so they learn while they're caged. This is clearly well thought out. So this is it's about six pounds for the two of us to come in. Um, so that's, I don't know, about nine, nine bucks. Um, kind of up there, but if you're going to come here for a lot of hours, it's fun. It does not include a tour of the estate house that this is attached to, but you do get to go into the grounds. So just a heads up, it is a little costly, um, but it's pretty fun. Let me show you the view. You can get up that way. Let, let me let me see. Oh wow, this really is an agility course. Wow. Okay, I see what you mean. I get what I mean. No, I see what you mean. Yeah. I can follow our tiny playground punishment. Wow. How does he always manage to try to whack my camera? I don't know. I have a dress on with tights underneath, which is very comfy, but not the best for climbing this. It's okay, we'll climb back down. This is fun. It's like a little pretend clock tower with windows. It is a little bit scary. Oh yeah, so this says that it's built for ages three and up. I see a lot of this as an agility that it's going to be hard for him and he's just now four. So heads up. Keep that in mind when you're coming. It's a lot, it's a lot of fun so far. I like it. Nice okay, brilliant. Sand, kitchen, kitchen, sand. Oh, this is his dream. Whoa. What's up the magical blue stairs? Could be a Beatles song. Could be. Okay. We did get stuck up in the top clock tower. I mean, he did. He was too scared to get down, so I had to carry him down the steep steps. But we made it. Oh, go back down. oh wow, there's a slide, okay. I might draw the line at this one. Um, I, I'm gonna show you. Yeah, me, in there, nope, ain't happening. Not gonna happen. He decided to not run the zip line on it, but just to run alongside it and pull it. Good job! It's really adorable. You have to tell the camera. How fast? 
Help the hat. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Ready? Let's go. Whoa! Okay, that's a good zip line design. Should I push you again? Super cute. I don't know. You want to say happy birthday, Cedar? So you can also walk around and see cool trees. While you're here in the grounds, we thought we'd take their little pathway and check it out because you know what, it stopped downpouring and it's lovely. Um, it kind of felt like it was a day to get out and see a little bit of trees in nature versus just all the city we've been doing. Plus, uh, where we're staying, we have to take a little train into town. Um, and I kind of thought maybe Abraham was just ready to be done with trains for the day. So I thought we would come here, we would play a little bit at the playground that you saw, and then we would do a little walk and just get a little breather. And we seem to have a boy, we seem to have a boy that has walkositis. The inability to walk anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I know, my love. He's pretty much been in the stroller this whole trip, as you have seen. And um, he's not liking a stroller this day. But mommy's arm sure. Oh no, your hood fell off. There you go. It makes you warm. <sighs> Tell me in the comments. What are your fussiest moments with your kids when you travel? Tell me some horror stories and we can laugh together because it's the best thing to do when you travel with kids. You just have a, a sense of the humor. I talked about this on my Instagram. Bring tea in a thermos, cookies, and you go from whiny fuss budge to pure happiness.